you must understand that it is licit to engage in this to a certain extent. And he described it and explained in things and uh, attempted to defend himself. But at the end result, Imam Ibn al-Jawzi, as great as he is, the ulama say, now listen, he wasn't wrong in these issues, but it would have been better if he never discussed them. And that's the position that they hold. Yes? Uh, with regard to the former ayah, with regard to uh, the hand, uh, would that be what the shahadi had? Yes. He's not supposed to really delve into it anyway. Question? The, the, the other ayah is mm -hmm. muhkam, which is clear cut. Everybody understands it. That's the uh, bedrock of the creed. Yeah, so the question is, uh, the ayah, uh, but both his hands are outspread, is that ayah not one of the mutashabihat? Um, alhamdulillah, salatu wa salam. Yes, it is. The ulama understand. Imam Muwafiq al-Din, Imam Qudama, rahimahullah, he says in his work, Rodat um, al-Nadir wa Junnat al volume 1, pages 215 to 217, if memory serves me correct, that the... Ayat about the names and attributes of Allah are all mutashabihat. And the fact that at the end of Surah Ali Imran, the third Surah, Ayah 7, when Allah says, illallah, And no one knows its meaning except Allah. He says, this means that the meaning of it is veiled from the creation and our only job is to affirm, accept, and to leave the ayah as it is. Right? So this is... Part of what it was. So Imam Ibn Jawzi, he was uh, a maverick in his time among the Hanabi. He was a maverick because of this issue. And he was accused of, of things. He said, no, that's not what I am. He was accused of things. And that's why it happened. What is the position of al Ashari's and um, uh, Ashari's uh, sort of theology in regards to Ibn Jawzi? Is that the, the question is regarding um, the position of the Ashari's regarding. Uh, the uh, discussion of the use of the word hand and such uh, in the ayat. Alhamdulillah. Salat al-Sama'a The Ash'aris would say that this passage refers to Allah's quwa. And they'll quote other passages that they, that they believe are significant uh, in proving their point. Imam Ibn al-Jawzi in his Sayyid al-Khatir goes to great lengths before this dispute even rose to attack uh, the Ash'ari position in this regard because he his position is just for him saying that it's licit. Imam Ibn Jawzi didn't interpret. He said, it's licit to say it. He didn't even say, this is my position. He just said, it's permitted to say it. And they went after him. Whereas he says, the Ash'aris, they're actually doing it. And that must be stopped. So he's saying, although it is permitted, it still shouldn't be done, even though it's permitted. But I'm stating that it's licit. So it doesn't make someone from Ahl al-Bid'ah if they believe that it's valid. That's the point that he was making. And that's what got him in, in a lot of the trouble uh, from the statements that he made with some of the other Hanbali scholars. Is there another question? So was he from the Hanbali creed then? Question is, is was Imam Ibn Jawzi from the Hanbali creed? Yes. Yes, alhamdulillah. Yes, he was. His books, Daf um, al is um, a book that widely can be read and understood but it must be understood in the context of the rest of Ibn al-Jawzi's books. That's why whenever Ibn al-Jawzi has a book in Creed, he's got about three to four books where he's mentioned theological statements. And you have to read all of them together to fully understand uh, Ibn al-Jawzi's positions on everything. Particularly his uh, Akhbar al-Sifat. You have to read all that together. Uh, because Ibn al-Jawzi is a very, very deep, um, he's a very deep man. And I think a lot of it was... Because he spoke the language of the ulama, I think a lot of the, the common people misunderstood him a lot because he was he was on such a level, he could not bring himself down to actually, like Imam Muafiquddin, someone could come and ask him to explain a point and he could explain it very succinctly. But Imam Ibn al-Jawzi was, was, he was on a, a really a higher level. I mean, he said on the mimbar one day, uh, Rahimullah, he said, you come to challenge me and fight with me? 10,000 people have become Muslim at my hand? I've wrote 1,000 books with this hand and you come to challenge me about my affairs? Don't you, don't you understand the ayah that the faqih or don't you understand the hadith that the faqih is harsher on shaitan than a thousand worshippers? Who do you think you're challenging when you, ch you know, he was very indignant that these, these laymen are challenging him. Who do you think that you're challenging? One of us is more strong against the shaitan than a thousand worshippers of you. 
So I think it's part of the reason that because of the depth of his knowledge and where he was at, I think some of the common people couldn't relate to him. But when you read him as a student and examine him, he's a very, um, he's, he's a very powerful law uh, writer. Very powerful. So do you know, like, in regards to, like, all like the, the different creeds that we have, it's like they're, they're, they're all basically similar, aren't they? Were they is it branch issues that they, they differ off in, or is it like major, not, not major issues, but is it something that they can have big disagreements? The question is uh, that the creeds of the Hanbalis, Mataris, and Ash'aris are the same in the foundations, but they differ in branch issues. Alhamdulillah, so, so not soon that. That's correct. The branch issues, they differ in. The branch issues, they differ in. The key is, again, no one can be compelled that they have to hold a position. If someone feels convicted by some branch issue and they feel that that is their position and they feel compelled by the evidence they may follow, no one can say, no, you may not do that because it's a branch issue. So, for example, if, if someone uh, holds to the position that the scales shall be brought first on the day of resurrection uh, before the weighing of deeds... Or someone says that they'll drink from the pond in the paradise and before the paradise, rather than saying they'll drink from the pond before going into the paradise. It's not going to take, it doesn't affect the destination of the soul. And the ulama, no, it's got to be. And the ulama have had these big discussions and disputes, which are composed of ayat and ahadith. But if someone says, you know, I think that we're going to drink from the hawd of the Prophet ﷺ before we go in the paradise and once we're in there, a'udhu billah, ya. no, we didn't do this. Hashalillah, fear Allah. I thought you were a Muslim. What is this? This is a branch issue. Everybody's fighting and, and, and putting up arms and, and coming to blows in the masjid. And brother, subhanAllah, in Birmingham almost attained martyrdom from stating that position. Yeah, we don't do that. His brother's calling me. I can hear all this yelling in the background. I thought I was going to hear the crack of an AK-47. What is going on here? Well, because they've kept that one position. That's all there is. That's all there is. And if you differ in this position, you're a dead man. We've got, we've got rope and green wood stacked up outside. No, this is crazy. You have to learn to accept that there's going to be these differences. Now, we understand that people will be strict on points, but they have to accept the fact there will be differences. Is there a final question? Final question. Yes. So, back in Bethlehem, you can't mix and match. Can you mix and match within creeds? Or does that be specific? question is, is, in branch issues in creed, can one mix and match in branch issues? Alhamdulillah. Yes, you'll find one of the great Shafi'i scholars of all time. Imam al-Shahristani was Maturidi. He's the only Shafi'i I know that was Maturidi. It's Maturidi. Very unusual. Very, very unusual. I've only known of one Ash'ari Hanbali. One. For sure. Najmuddin al-Tufi, rahimullah, one of the students of Imam Taqiyuddin ibn Taymiyyah. He's Ash'ari. Right? So you'll find people will mix between uh, certain branches in issues where they'll adopt positions and opinions. Imam Mahmoud al-Alusi was Hanbali in his creed. He was one of the great Hanafi scholars, Imam Mahmoud al-Alusi. So it doesn't take anything away from them, but you have to also, your community that you belong to have to be cosmopolitan, and then you also have to be understanding of what they're going to do when they find out that you believe the things that you do. Because you are going to find yourself in some very interesting dinner conversations. We'll say that. Because you'll have positions that will be different. What? And when they hear it, the response is either what, or get a rope, or where's my gun, or things to this effect. When, 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 in, when in effect, really it's a branch issue. The people have to learn. Part of this is learning to be more cosmopolitan, learning to understand each other. I've learned in the time I've been here to understand. I know all of your positions because I've studied. I've had the opportunity to study with Maturidis, Hanbis, Ashes. I know what not to go there with you on. No, I do. Because I know that you have very firmly held beliefs that it's not for me to come and say, now I have come, I've brought the truth, and it's now for you poor souls to come and just, you know, follow what I've got. I know the positions that you have, and they are well-founded positions. They're strong, evidential positions that you have. So are mine. So I ask that because I respect your positions and I respect you and love you, that you do the same thing. 
So I don't expect to find nooses in front of my house or anything like this because of positions I hold any more than that you'd find want to have burnt effigies in front of your house from positions that you hold. And that's part of the variety of this ummah. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanak Allahumma bahamdika. Wa shahadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Innahu ghafur rahim yalhamdulillahi rahimim. Assalamu alaikum.